This video is about completing the square and a disguised quadratic and then using the completed square form to find a maximum or minimum value of a quadratic function. So it says express x squared minus 6x minus 5 in the form of x minus p all squared minus q where p and q are constants. Find your usual answer to part a to solve the equation x y plus 2 all squared minus 6y plus 2 minus 5 is equal to 0, giving your answer in the form a plus or minus root b, where a and b are integers. The curve c has equation y is equal to 4 minus 3 times x plus 2 all squared. The point m has a maximum point on c. Write down the coordinates of m. Okay, so we've got our quadratic expression, x squared minus 6x minus 5. So we know we have to take half of minus 6, which is minus 3, and then we proceed to write down x minus 3 in brackets and then squared. We've still got the minus 5, but in doing this process, we've actually added something in. So, and what we've added in is minus 3 squared. It's always this last bit here, squared. So minus 3 squared is 9. So if we've added in 9 to this, then here we must compensate by taking 9, otherwise we change the expression. Okay, this is why it's called completing the square. So this is going to be equal to x minus 3 all squared minus 5 minus 9 is minus 14. Right, we now need to use our answer to solve this equation. Now you might have noticed that if this was x, this would be x squared minus 6x minus 5. So all we need to do to solve it is put, instead of x in here, put y plus 2. So that becomes y plus 2, still got the minus 3, all squared, minus 14 is equal to 0. Right, using our rules for solving equations, the opposite of minus 14 is to add 14. Sorry, just one thing first, we got y plus 2 minus 3, we uh, simplify that to y minus 1. Okay, now we got take away 14, so we add 14 to both sides. We get min y minus 1 all squared is equal to 14. The opposite of squaring is to take the square root, but when we take the square root, we must remember we take plus or minus the square root of 14. So this is looking good. And then we need to add 1 to both sides. We've got y is equal to 1 plus or minus root 14. It's now in the correct format. Right, so we've got y is equal to 4 minus 3x plus 2 all squared. Now this will have a maximum value of 4, which is this number here. Okay, because this bit here will always be positive. Doesn't matter what number uh, value of x here, it will always be posi positive because you're because you're squaring it, and then multiplying by three, and therefore, and then when you take that away, this will never get bigger than four. This function because this will be positive, three times a positive number uh, minus three times a positive number is negative, three minus a negative number, then this will get smaller, and therefore this will the smallest value. Sorry, the large, the smallest value this will be will be zero, and that will happen when x is equal to minus two. So it's when x plus two is equal to zero, when x is equal to minus two, because we get minus two in here. Minus two plus two give me zero. Zero squared gives me zero. Zero times three is zero, and then four minus zero will give me four. If I put a higher value of x in, so let's say one, one plus two will give me 3, 3 squared, okay, and minus 3 squared is 9, that will give me minus 27, 4 minus 27 is going to be less than 4. Any other value, minus 1, minus 1 plus 2 gives me 1, 1 squared is 1, and we're going to have 4 minus 3, which is less than 4. So the maximum value of this function over b can be 4 when x is minus 2. So the coordinates of the maximum point are going to be x is minus 2, y is equal to four now if we sort of think back to the original quadratic this is no longer part of the question but the original quadratic in part a was x squared minus six x plus five and we showed that it could be written as x minus three all squared 
minus 14. Now, the lowest value that this can uh, ever be is minus 14. Because every time you put a number in here, it'll become positive, And you take it away from 14, that will get less, uh, more than 14. So this is the minimum value here. So, so when x is minus 3, uh, so sorry, when x is 3, so x minus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0 squared is minus 14. So the coordinates of the minimum point is 3 minus 14. Now, you know from your quadratics where x squared is positive, it will look like that. There will be a minimum point. In here, the x squared bit will be negative, so that will be like that. So you're going to get a maximum here and a minimum here. So in these formats, when it's written in completed square form, the quadratic, it will actually help you find the maximum value in this case and the minimum value in this case. So this has been a video to show you how to complete this square, how to use it to solve a disguise, disguise quadratic, and then how to interpret the maximum minimum value of completing the square form. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.